Boomerang Blade. Boomerang Blade. Well, Boomerang. you're looking rather Stevenish today. But thank you. Yeah, this is my Steven Universe shirt. I'm, I will be cosplaying it at some point. And so a friend of mine made it with me. So it's not the real, it's not an official Steven Universe shirt. We actually made this with, uh, uh, yeah. Because, yeah, with fabric paint yeah. and whatnot. Because some places still aren't getting that people like this show and it's profitable. Mm. There's um, merchandise, guys. CartoonNetwork.com, that's the only place you'll find merchandise, but it's not very much. So, yep. hot yeah. topic, we know you do stuff like this. Yeah, man. <laughs> right, yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. Anyway, we must, we missed a couple of things in the last episode, the birthdays episode, and we just wanted to get those taken care of here before we move on to the next episode. Steven and the Sword Fighter. So, um, yeah, just bear with us for like a, a minute or two, yep. so we're just going to get stuff out of the way. So, uh, one thing you acknowledged was uh, Steven's full name. Yep. When he's like... He's like 30. Almost old man Steven, like... Well, he's like 30, 40, somewhere around there. He's at the Like big 60, 70, I don't know. Well, no, no, no. Well, that might have been when he got the shirt that he was like 20 or 30 with that. Oh, the but buff shirt. Yeah, the professional... When he's looking for a real he's job, a be he's like a beach hunk. A it's, it's a professional right. beach hunk because <laughs> yeah. That's what let's was. see, doctor, no, too squeamish. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah so yeah, or some something like that. So his full name is Stephen Quartz Universe. Yeah, that would make because sense because it got it came from his mom. Rose Quartz, and mm -hmm. that is a very good touch that they finally revealed that he does keep the. Last name of his mom, and I don't know if they, if they named him like that or I don't know if they uh, if, if he just chose the name something like that. So it's never noted. But I think that's the only time we actually hear him called Stephen Quartz Universe. So not that I, uh, that as far as I know. Um, there are a bunch of other jokes we kind of missed out on because we were just trying to get through that one as quickly as possible. Yeah. Um, remember the mole, the like the whack a mole? I bet it was actually like whack, uh, <laughs> whack a nineteen twenties gangster. Yeah. Oh, I forgot what the, that machine said yeah, he was trying. But whack-a-mole is in, like, a mole for a... Yeah, because he, he, was, he was feeling like old. Some so. 20s detective or something? Yeah, yeah, because the, there was regular whack-a-mole, but he felt too old for that. And there was an adult yeah. whack-a-mole, but it was no, whack-a... No, it was jun junior and real whack-a-mole <laughs> person, whatever. And that was when Onion was, like, hacking through the ticket so he could, like... <laughs> yeah. Oh, and another one is when Garnet still has the, the king costume crown on. Amethyst is like, why are you still wearing that? It makes me feel important. <laughs> yep. Oh, and then she shakes Steven when he's like 90. When he's 90 and I thought violence was the answer. Well, nothing else was working. I mean, Amethyst was turning into a piñata and a tiny car, and then Pearl was doing the uh, the pie the, bit. I don't well, know if she, she was, didn't exactly... Well, she wasn't exactly doing it right, but... I don't know if it was because... Just the emotion she, she had, I could understand. I don't know if it was upset because of Steven, or if she was upset because she was ruining a perfectly good pie. Remember the whole thing about I like pie? Yeah. <laughs> it, it could be because she knew that Steven was dying, because... She was about to stick her pointy as hell nose into a pie. Are you trying to kill him faster? He just has those big eyes like... <laughs> ah, Steven! I just ruined a good pie! Oh, and Steven! <laughs> and then yeah, some... it was Steven the whole time. Mm -hmm. And then for some reason Steven had like 40 year old legs. Half his yeah. body was turned yep, back. Yeah, he finally does turn 12 back to... He's 12, 12 Steven, or default age Steven. He, his lower half is still old man, and that is just random and weird. Well, not old man, but middle aged man. Because <laughs> his legs are hairy. You yep. can <laughs> these are like little, little, little pants there. Yep. I think that's it. I don't know if anyone. Kind of go, almost kind of goes into the whole shape shifting thing in which it's done without cats this time around. Shape, shape. Yeah, I yeah. can see that. Yeah. But, yeah. So, the next one, one right, coming so up is... Steven the Swordfighter. Yep. Alright, so we so get to let's get in. So, let's get into that, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so yeah, Steven the Sword Fighter. Um, first, we get to know a little more about how the gems operate, exactly. Yeah, we get to realize, we get to learn the... Cut. Alright. So, Cut. so yeah, Steven the Sword Fighter. Um, so yeah, basically we get to learn a little more about how gems operate. Well, not operate, but apparently you can't. Um, you can die, but you, for if you get injured, like an example, Pearl gets friggin' stabbed. <laughs> that was horrifying. Oh yeah, yeah, first time watching it. Like, yep, here's literally. a picture of that. You know, for kids. <laughs> that silhouette, man. That silhouette of her, like, on yep. the, like in the air, and right when she gets stabbed, just her facial expression, and everyone is like, oh shit. But yeah, that silhouette where she's like hanging in the air, and she drops the sword, and she was like. And then Pearl's just like, I didn't know whether to laugh or oh, to still be horrified because she's like, whoopsie daisy, uh, Steven, it's okay, I'm gonna be just, boom, explodes. Yep, she poofs into, a, into smoke and all that remains is her gem that falls to the ground and Steven is, of course, reassured that Pearl is perfectly fine, she's just in her healing cycle, she's regenerating. Shut up, Peruvians. She's going through a healing cycle in which could take days, weeks, to weeks, weeks, and so on. But they and they pretty much just their when their bodies are severely heal. damaged, they just retreat back into their gem, heal for a bit, and they come back with a completely whole different new look. Yeah, completely different outfit. Sometimes, yeah, it's usually mostly the outfit. Yep. You are not going to see Pearl's pretty skirt again, guys. The tutu? <laughs> okay, so yeah, it starts with Steven, uh, like, there are the Steven games. watching some... I don't know if it's an anime, or if it's just one anime, of those... or since the show itself is anime. animated, it could just be a live-action Japanese, Japanese fighting movie. movie. Yeah, like, kind of one of those movies that Tarantino yeah. watched for Kill Bill. It kind of felt like that. Yeah. So yeah, of course, Pearl and with was... all the out of lip syncing stuff. Well, in this and one, it's it's ja it's it's not dubbed; it's subtitled. In the first one, yeah, it's dubbed later on. Right. We see two: the fourth one and the fifth one because they all have to go in volume. Yeah, so only Blade Four. And one that Blade is in five. subtitles, and another one that has decent or crappy at dubbing. I don't know. So yeah, Steve but, was really into this stuff, and he really likes the boomerang yeah. blades and all the other yeah. cheesy, over-the-top action stuff. Pearl nitpicks a lot of this. Which like, I would kind of do as well. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm kind of that guy, but when well, it comes to stuff like that... Well, I would. Be if the movie's meant to be over-the-top and ridiculous, then I can just stick along with it. But if yeah. I understand if you're Pearl and you actually do sword fighting, then you then you know obviously this won't stick with yeah. you. So yeah, she suggests that, that she would teach Steven how to sword real fight a real sword. Which he obviously wants to. Yep. Um, but the whole time, he in his mind, he's just thinking... I want to do the boomerang blade thing. Yeah, he he's he's very impatient. He he, he wants to get to the um, the nit and gritty of it. Yeah. Uh, rather than just and that never works out well. If there are plenty of ways to pick off from that. So uh, Pearl plenty creates examples. Pearl creates a hologram version of herself as a um, sentient uh, sentient um, training par training partner, which and is pretty awesome. And then she moves her mouth like something... It's like one of those characters from Star Fox, how they move the mouth really quickly. Do you wish to engage in combat? Yeah. So at first they have like a little badass duel with each other. The music's awesome. And then Steven suggests that he wants to be trained. So she does. And she puts him with the basics like one, two, step. Harry! Two, Harry! Step. Thrust! <laughs> so... Yeah, but he gets impatient really quickly, and he wants to obviously do the cool stuff. Pearl gets distracted, is talking to him, and that's when she. The gets boomerang stabbed. plate is not a real thing. Well, it's the perfect. Yeah, it's 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 about waiting for the perfect opportunity to thrust. Yeah, <laughs> perfect timing on that too. So then it's two weeks later because apparently Pearl's very patient and likes to take her time yeah, wisely. She's just taking her time and. 
Meanwhile, the beach it's, house is a mess because Pearl usually cleans up with with Stephen. But yeah, and Stephen is twelve, so he's a bit lazy. Mm. I don't know, like what he's been. I think he's been trying to find other ways to keep the, the gems safe. Because when we when it's two weeks later, we see him like put a little lamp on there. Like it's a per, it's a it's a pearl, not an egg. Yeah, he puts a lamp. He puts it in a in a little warm blanket basket, and, a, and, and a basket. It it might look like an egg, but it's not an egg, Stephen. <laughs> oh, there's a really uh, there's a really funny uh, comic that I found on DeviantArt in where Amethyst replaced it with an egg, and then the egg hatched, and he thinks it's pearl. <laughs> Yeah, that exists. I have to try to find the. I want to find it. I want to. I want to see that. <laughs> that just right. sounds hilarious. And something she would totally do if she wasn't floating on a badass cloud. I want one of those things. Oh, she eats the cloud and she yeah, turns it. Yeah. Later, in. when they're just fooling around, fooling around, Amethyst says, "I'm gonna do it. Go on then." Oh, poof! <laughs> she turns into a little balloon. Yep, she, yep. It's like that thing was made of magic helium, better than real helium, and she just starts floating up, and Garnet is just... Just holding. hanging on to her like a balloon. Yep. She later ties a string onto her and just carries her around like a balloon. <laughs> and the... So, uh, since Pearl's not around, uh, Stephen thinks it's a good idea to use Hollow Pearl as, as, a, as a substitute sub Pearl. Doesn't work, because all she, all she's all really... she wants to do is train with... Fighting and is like well, that's all she's programmed yeah. for. She's not programmed yeah. for anything else. Yep. So but he it, shows her this... to clean up, in which he tosses out like a Pikachu meets Mogul from Final Fantasy, a thing I can't exactly identify like Transformers meets Fully Cooly. There's Sonic, a yeah. Sonic the something. <laughs> Sonic the so It looked like a <laughs> ripoff of Sonic. And Cloud from Final Fantasy, which was pretty awesome. And of course, since I almost that little was, figure uh, has, I almost thought it was Sora from Final from Spirit from um, Kingdom Hearts, only minus the key. Oh no, it's Cause Cloud because he has blonde hair and a compensating sword. <laughs> And one thing I don't get is that Hollow Pearl yeah. is um, doesn't disappear after Pearl disintegrates. Yeah, so she's just there to stay until something happens. And anyway, yes. when she sees the cloud figurine, she thrusts at it because with an umbrella because it has a sword. No, that's when she still has the sword. It's when they go. See oh the yeah, others. but you said Cloud Amethyst. No, Cloud is the name of this oh, Final Fantasy. I forget guy. things really easily. Yeah, it's all right. And yeah. So yeah, uh, then he like replaces the the sword with umbrella with a, a little balloon yep. sword, which yep. still does damage because Somehow. it's slice it's logic, cartoon yep. logic. She uses it. To slice. He takes Hollow Pearl to Pearl's favorite place, this the cherry. cherry blossom tree, mm -hmm. and she just says. Challenge accepted, and with this balloon, balloon sword, somehow beyond through, ca through cartoon logic. physics, cuts the tree right in half. Like acts it right in <laughs> half. So yeah, it's hopeless. Stephen goes away because he doesn't like it. Uh, thinks it's creepy now. Yeah. Yeah. Goes Even to Garnet him. says that, it's and creepy. you shouldn't hang around with that thing. It's creepy. It's creepy. <laughs> so yeah, he goes off to watch a movie with uh, with with Pearl with, Pearl, yeah. who's still a Pearl, and yeah, he's just like watching like this dubbed version of the whatever he was yeah, watching. Yeah, the fifth movie because <laughs> hey, I found the fifth movie of that movie you clearly hate. <laughs> well, she's not there to judge. Yeah. She's still in her shit. I know. So yeah, you can't say shit about this movie. Mm -hmm. Ha. <laughs> Yeah, so, but yeah. Steven's not like that, you know. I know that. He's still adorable. He's cute. He he's he means well. So yeah, the Hollow Pearl comes back, basically haunting him, like following him around, wanting to duel, even though he keeps saying he doesn't. Somehow gets the words out, and that, and that fight me. Yeah, you all you want to do is fight me. Challenge accepted. Yeah, basically. 
fights him with a like fights him with a. It is the it is the sword. It somehow got back in her hand. I, I don't know. I, I have no clue how that thing works. But um, so yeah, yeah. He 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 accidentally programs advanced mode because he hits him. He hits her with one of his toys. She tosses. Oddly enough, it was the cloud that she cut a nice, pretty stab through right in her head, and yep. yep. Training mode deactivated. Now entering advanced, advanced mode. Advanced mode. <laughs> Gets a a, a a legitimate boomerang. Doesn't work. Yep. Wait, there's a boomerang. Hmm. Or is see. like given the aesthetic thing elements we've seen through this. Yeah. First, like, fruit snacks, yeah. pillow, something else. Boomerang! He throws it, and it comes back. I have, I've used several boomerangs before, and none of them actually work this way. I, this is perhaps the one time, well, outside Maybe of other cartoons. It very well, I don't know. I've well, never used a boomerang before in my life, so I wouldn't know how it works. But, yeah, I've used at least... A few before, but since I couldn't get them to work, I just put them to use for something else. So he anyway. defeats her with a uh, a mop, um, a mop. Yep, a mop that he just just throws does into the... her chest, and then he's like poofing her away with it. Yep. You wish to challenge again? No. So yeah, at the end, it seems hey, like what are you doing? Nothing. Mopping. Little dust thing comes off. Die! <laughs> so yeah, it feels like he learned his lesson. Just be patient and everything will find its way. And then Three, Pearl regenerates. Two, one. Pearl's back. Pearl's mm -hmm. back. Pearl regenerates. And I like this little detail because uh, you've never seen the original, original pilot, right? No. I'm going to have to show it to you. We may... If you want to review that, we can. And I'll have to find it. Yeah. But uh, while she's like... Not while she's like re um, reassembling she's herself and reforming she's forming into her her new persona. Um, humanoid you form. You see alternate versions of her, and one of them, if you pause it at just the right moment, is original pilot Pearl in silhouette form. But of course, it like shades back, and she goes into now current Pearl. Yep, which is no skirt and no back. No, uh, the thing doesn't cut off from here, so it doesn't look like a corset anymore. Her her shoulders are all um, are, are covered. Uh, she's teal green, not light green, and she still has the star. Of course, they all have a star. Mm hmm Kind of the theme of the group, I'm yeah. guessing. And her um, her graceful. Uh, uh, look is still intact, so yeah. she still looks like normal Pearl, and the nose is less pointy. Wow. Still pointy, though. He's still pointy. So, yeah. Still pointy enough to pop a balloon. Mm -hmm. But not an amethyst balloon. <laughs> not an amethyst balloon. So, oh, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not even going to ask what happened to you. I got hit by airplane. <laughs> What's, what is your thing with airplanes, amethyst? Amethyst has a thing for airplanes. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yep, neither do I. So, yeah, you celebrate pearls back. Yep. Pearls he back. He ties pearls. his... Sure, around his head, He's he like Charlie gets a bunch Sheen. of pan, <laughs> pants and starts banging them around, and Pearl's Pearl like, no, What no. happened to your room? I'm not even gonna bother. I can't leave you guys alone for a second. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because yeah. Pearl's basically the mom, and... Well, you can leave Garnet alone, she's probably not gonna do shit. She's not gonna do shit. Amethyst chooses not to do shit. So Pearl basically has to be mom, mom, and yep. just like... Amethyst does whatever the fuck she wants. <laughs> but Steven seems like one of those like nice kids that does whatever the hell he's told, so he would clean up with Pearl, but since there's no Pearl, he, there, there's no reason to why he should clean up. Yeah. Still! Because Amethyst is like, yeah, you should leave it how it is. Because it looks like my room. Yeah. Is there anything Pretty else? Because um, um, I'm not sure what... A, um, Nope, I don't think so. Just reach it. So we only learn about re about like what happens when the physical form is injured, but what happens when the gem gets injured? We'll find that out later on. Yeah, that we'll you get will? to that. Yeah. yeah, soon enough. Okay. So yeah, next one coming after this is Lion Two, the movie. Mm -hmm. 
So, Directed yeah. by someone other than Michael Bay. <laughs> no, man. That would be a Spielberg <laughs> movie, man. Yeah. I would see, I would see that. Uh, so I guess... But if Tim Burton comes near it, you stayed the hell away from that. <laughs> He's already going to do Dumbo. Yeah. And Can't wait to see how that works out. I am not a fan of those Disney direct no, those those live action movies that everybody that for some reason they're starting to do. Yeah. Though I hear though I have heard a few good things about Cinderella. Cinderella was good, was a good movie. Yeah. I so, suggest you go see that yeah, they don't. So if there's like one good one and a few bad ones, chances are there's at least one other good one later. We're getting Beauty and the Beast, Mulan, Winnie the Pooh, Pinocchio, and Dumbo next. Why the hell are we getting Winnie the Pooh? I have no clue. I have, I'm not the guy who run Disney. Yep. Okay, so that's it for, well, that's it for me. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. As for this, I'm the 8-Bit Tie Guy. Oh. Okay, fine. I do not want to survive those movies, though. Winnie the Pooh? What was the one that you said after that one? It was Beauty and the Beast, Mulan, Winnie the Pooh, Pinocchio, Dumbo. Oh god. Pinocchio, live action. I want Del Toro Pinocchio, because that's going to be stop motion. Or at least he wants it to be at stop At least, motion. yes, please just make it stop motion if anything else. There's plenty of... Or 3D animated if you have to, but live action Winnie the Pooh, Dumbo, or Pinocchio? Yep, I'm done. Have a good night, guys.